All right, folks, we are back for what should be the final episode of this playthrough, or of this chapter, of this part of the story of burning heroes. Something. Teleporter mazes. All the rage. I don't remember if there were goodies here or not. If there are, I don't even think I need them. Star Cobra. Space Pirate. Uh oh. Never before have we run into something that has inflicted two status ailments at the same time. Stop attacking things you have never hit before and attack the things you have hit before. Also, I like that our petrified companions can still dodge attacks. Ah, uh, one foot on the teleporter. You are the dumbest looking zombies. You're, you're incredibly happy looking. Are you Disney zombies? Yup, we're gonna be in Star Wars. <laughs> Disney's ever expanding reach to own everything. Bought Marvel. Got Marvel, got Star Wars. I don't know what they're gonna do next. Who knows? Man, that was apparently wrong! Oh, there's a goodie. Jump shoes! Good thing I checked. I'd have been a little upset had I got to a place and not been able to go anywhere from the place. Stop with the dodging. Thank you, Barbara. I don't care if she gets petrified. If it'll raise her hot blood, I'm good with that. I'm not worried about petrification. I'm sure if everybody were to get petrified, that would be a game over situation. But I ain't even worried about that. I'm worried about nothing. I'm worried about why Barbara just stopped moving. Oh, she's fine now. Remember earlier? Uh, earlier. It was earlier today. Uh, don't. It's not even worth doing. Um, when we'd open a treasure chest, like the rain would stop. Or the um, the torches would stop flickering. Those were the days. Hello, Robo Gorilla. You look kind of like neither of those things. Thus, that is why it is your name. You look like a tablecloth with a helmet on. You have Cyclops lasers. Disney's gonna be upset. with you, Robo Gorilla. Dragon Scream! Which one was that? Sand Hurricane, eh? Star Mage! Waiting in the sky. They'd like to come and see us, but their tricks would blow our minds. Threw a wad of gelatin at me. Why doesn't Vada get to come to the front row? Like he's our tanky guy. He should be front row. 
this looks like a correct place. heal. Unless we kill him quickly. Oh, at least it didn't heal. Which means I can heal after battle. Oh my goodness, people. Jeepers. what the level top out is. How's that? Oh, no, that's perfect. How's your magic? Good. He's good. Oh, and this we're there. Well, let's top up that magic then. Drop a thingy. Yeah, what's that? It's an idiot trap. Ha ha ha. It's futile to continue your struggle. But if it's one more battle you're wanting, I'll oblige. You're persistent too, Deathwise. Oh, I'm sure you know I simply had to come. I picked up some nice treasures along the way, but hey, is that really you up yonder? Well, no, you didn't kill me at the Starkey. Instead, I found a better way to live as a space baby. <laughs> the hell you say? Not for long, Mr. Deranged Creepy Mouse. Can't stop me, see? Just use my power to rest Australia from orbit. Soon its mass will smash into your planet. If we Earthlings can have it, nothing will live there. You did what? Your malicious act raises the specter of a nasty turn of events. I won't stand for this. I'm going to stop you from threatening the people back home. Think so? Right now, humans are on the ground below, staring helplessly at the sky. What? The, that tears it. You're on my bad side now, even after I thought I clipped your wings. All you did was shut the star door, but humans on Earth are still sentenced to death. I merely reversed the thrust, so this stardust continent would enter Earth's atmosphere. Your fellow humans and home planet will be reduced to space rubble. <laughs> well, I won't dance to your waltz, and I don't have time to play your silly game, either. Ouch. You so sure, Layla? Lila? Despite all that big talk, you seem to breathe rather easily. You plunder treasures, but I have a sacred mission, and that is to destroy planet Earth. No, I almost got room for one more human on death row. All of you will compensate with your blood, but first bow down before the new god called Deathwise. No, it's our Earth. That's what brought us together. We will roll over. Will we roll over? Will we fight to the bitter end? And win back the prize we can't afford to lose. For our friends, families, and all of us to inhabit. So, are you able to reach way down and find some energy that should have been depleted? For the love of a certain man, I give you a resounding yes. Your refusal to capitulate astounds me. It shouldn't, not as long as I've got an earth to save and a man I love, the best treasure of all. But you're just a child of those criminal humans who wronged the earthlings. I never wronged anyone except maybe Mr. Shen, and that was mainly the spirit of competition. On the other hand, justice for the Earthlings appears to be speeding you down a path straight to hell. The man I love is living on Earth and you want to destroy. Or, you want to destroy. I'll defend him to my dying breath. Alright, space baby. First thing I'm gonna do is use this dragon scrape. Disgust. Brilliant and effective. 
And by that I mean neither of those things. Barb is mad at you, space baby. I was kind of hoping this would have been a little different, you know? Like a treasure of the red breath? It didn't... It ended with a fight that made sense to the story each chapter, but it wasn't the same fight each time. Oh yeah, Nosferatu back. Forgot about that. Oh, that hurts. Lisa, I'm counting on you. Lisa. Ah, my headphones. Did you hear my headphones? I'm sorry. One of those Psycho Revenges is gonna more than half fill up my hot blood bar. Oh, that's beautiful. Do it again. Yep. Be nice if some of you had dodged. Well, I guess it doesn't matter since the heel hits everybody anyway. Hot blood. After this round, I will restore some of Lisa's MP. We got this. Another thing I will say that I wish was a little bit better was um, options for attack from the enemies. Because this is, yeah. I mean, they've got like two. They've got a target all magic attack and a target single physical attack. And that seems to be all any of them ever have. doing that, the more I'll keep doing this. It's only fair. You do about a thousand damage to us, we'll do about a thousand to you. Target single physical attack. Stop it! Someone else revived him. That's what happened there. Maybe it was life and magic he got back? I, don't know. I didn't see. Lisa, you wanna get on that heel there? No? So you must have tried to revive him too, then, eh? <sighs> Something to be said for computer controlled buddies. So 
something to be said when there's not. those now it's still not enough to kill him stop blocking my stuff Hurry on home to hell now where you belong. Okay. Cast Lancers, the sky just exploded. Fool, no way can the sky just up and explode for no obvious reason. I would say it's just a meteorite plunging into the sea. Tell the residents of the city to simmer down. This is not the second coming. I mean, it's not a repeat of the catastrophe that devastated our world exactly seven years ago. Ta! Get out of here. Do it, Slowpoke. Go spread the word. Okay. Oh, I love. What are you mumbling about, my bungling offspring? All the kings in this game are jerks. I follow the wave of the one I love. Can you friends believe what we just did? How odd is this in our modern day and age of the hyper-selfish me generation? Oh, well, that's life, I suppose. What can I say? The reason for a person to be strong may be as simple as fighting to save other people she cares about. It's true. All of you special folks, thank you so much for everything you did to help us succeed. Lila, Lila, ball. Oh. oh, is that you, Mr. Fafuga? Sorry, did that disturb you? We're gonna go now. Bye. Lila, well, I just want to say it's nice to see you again. I am the one. It's really good to uh, be back, Mr. Fuga. <laughs> Danger music. Is that it? That's apparently it. Alright. And this seems to be the same credit sequence we saw last time? I think? Maybe? I don't know. Don't ask me hard questions. I'll tell you no lies. So, uh, chapter two, part two. Section two, I guess, of Burning Heroes complete. Which means uh, next we'll be getting on to section three. And I think I've decided, I think I've decided what I'm gonna do is in between these sections, I'll do one short little game. Um, maybe like an NES game that I can get through in, you know, 20, 30 minutes or something. Um, just to maybe kind of break it up a little bit, because if each one of these sections is going to end up being 12 to 15 videos, and there's four of them, jeez, that's going to be long. Uh, or eight of them, I should say. 
So yeah, I mean, we're looking at 100 videos for this thing. Um, so I'll, I'll break it up a little bit somehow, some way. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed section two. And we'll see you back here in a little while for section three.